Joe Bucko of the Mispicotum First Nation was my landlord in the 1970s. I dropped in to see him recently and he told me about his work as chief. I had known that the Hudson's Bay Company had operated a fur trading post at the mouth of the Mispicotum River since the early 1800s. The company and the missionaries influenced the First Nation people greatly. They became trappers collecting pelts for the company. Many were employed paddling the large freight canoes between Mispicotton and Moose Factory on the Missinabe River. In 1850, the Robinson Treaty was signed. The treaties concluded with Ontario First Nations north of Lake Superior included solemn promises to provide reserved land. In the case of Mitch Picotton, however, the boundaries of the reserve were not where they should have been. The development of iron ore at Wawa, the building of the Goma Central Railway and Mitch Picotton Harbour led to the loss of First Nation land. This discrepancy was addressed in 2008 when federal and provincial governments signed a settlement with Mitch Picotton. It was the last in a series of highly successful negotiations between Mitch Picotton and Canada that resolved five land claims. Mitch Picotton has been creating their own successes. The First Nation has invested their previous settlement funds in their community to support programs from education and job training to health and wellness programs. We have a lot more opportunity here. You know, there's everybody's working here. There's no there's zero unemployment. With its $58 million boundary claim settlement, Mitch Picotton is building on their past successes and pursuing new opportunities, such as partnerships with their neighbors. As long as we can partner up, you know, we're, we've got more strength. The mayors have uh, formed a group, and uh, and also with the, there's there's uh, there's also five First Nations in the area, and we're all we you know we're all striving for the same thing. Mission is the opportunities are unlimited, you know, because every day you come up with something a little bit different, you know, and uh, and uh, I just we just I I can probably see we won't have the manpower to to go ahead and bring all these things, and that's why we're getting involved. We're getting all the other First Nations involved, um, and uh, also the mayors, and uh, you know, because it's going to be a boom for, I hope, for everybody. And we've got, you know, we've got diamond prospects here, and we've got gold. Uh, you know, it's 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 really an exciting time. Joe offered to take me out to the reservation to show me around. It's about a half hour drive from Wawa to Miss Buchanan Village and on to the reservation at the harbor. The first stop is to check out Joe's new boat at the boat harbor. We drive through Miss Buchanan Village and out towards the harbor. A view of Sandy Beach. The road's been improved a lot. Arriving at the reservation, we drive around. Reservation's not that large. About 60 people. by the quality of the homes, the satellite dishes, half-ton trucks, and numerous trailers. Houses are well spread out with a beautiful view of Lake Superior nearby.
this is a beautiful environment. 